I think that most people don't expect reptiles to be intelligent, to have personalities. These creatures are actually not only really unique and really highly advanced, they can problem solve. When you start to actually learn about their natural history, you know that they are very, very specialized animals and need a lot of supportive care. A pair of our Aldabra tortoises came to us in the 1950s. We minimally think that they're 90 to 100 years old, and we know they can live upwards of 200 years. They come from a small island, and they grow to these gigantic sizes of over 500 pounds. And their shells, especially the males, are like a solid rock, and they are built for survival. Tortoise care can be difficult. Um, they don't always go where they're supposed to go. You really make yourself be patient. Looking good for 100 years old. At the end of the day, when the tortoises have been outside all day long, and we're asking them via the target to kind of walk across their yard and into the building. In the wild, they're eating flowers. So I think that red color really is kind of like a favorite food. As part of our management for the giant tortoises, a couple times a year, we will have to go in and actually trim their nails. In the wild, they're gonna be walking on very rocky terrain. They're naturally, over time, going to be rubbing their nails down. But here in captivity, a lot of times the ground is more smooth that they're walking on. That's why we step in and do a little bit of the trimming. The tortoise is basically so interested in eating, it's not really caring too much about what's going on. On the other hand, some of our reptiles really seem to enjoy the daily care that they experience with the keepers. The Grand Cayman Island Iguana gets a bath three to five times a week. He can be territorial. He's very selective of who he allows to interact with him. So fortunately, we hit it off pretty well. So he actually seems to desire my presence. Typically, head bobbing and iguanas is used for various things. Um, it's a form of communication. When I give him a bath, it's almost like he's asking for more because once the hosing starts going, then the head bobbing ceases. Lizards will often shed in patches. The practical aspect of bath time is just to help them remove those unshed pieces of skin. So reptiles are typically very independent and tough, but they are a lot more sensitive to their environment than they appear. Reptiles do have a rough exterior. It makes them seem like they don't need a lot of very specific care. The reality is quite the opposite. They're highly specialized to fit certain niches in their environment. Komodo dragons are the largest land reptile in the world. We have one male Komodo dragon here at the reptile house. His name is Murphy. Good morning, Murphy. Hey, buddy. When I walk up to Murphy's enclosure, there's a lot of things that are going through my head. Mostly, it's about staying safe. They are a top predator in their environment. So right off the bat, they command a lot of respect. It's a good boy. So they do have venom that's in their lower jaw that can be in, injected into, uh, into prey. He's a basically a killing machine, but he requires care like any other reptile here at the reptile house. His skin is very rough and very dry. So sometimes when he sheds, it, it, uh, it, it gets kind of stuck in a little bit. So we come in and just kind of try to brush him down, maybe help exfoliate some of that a little bit from time to time, especially kind of around his face and around his leg area. Each individual Komodo is different and, by and large, very intelligent lizards.
the group of reptiles in general is just a very complicated group of animals. But they do enjoy um, interaction with people on a certain level. It's something new every day. As much as I can predict how the iguana is going to act, one day he may just decide, you know what? I don't want you to work with me today and <laughs> do something totally unexpected. Every day when you come in and you work with some of these really interesting species that are critically endangered, walking into the tortoise enclosure, it's really, really unique. And you realize this is a threatened animal that's potentially over 100 years old and will probably be here after I'm gone off this earth.